back to school time. So today I'm going to show you my homeschool area and what I used to learn. I'm Shannon Germain and this is Nick's The Norm. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So there's a lot of blogs out there that show you how to design a homeschool space, but it's not for high schoolers, it's just for little kids. So I'm going to show you my homeschool high school space. First, um, you should have a desk that is like big enough for two people. Usually I only do my work um, alone, like without my mom, but sometimes I need my mom or my dad to help. So I got my desk at Pottery Barn. This is a super cool desk. It's like very pretty and oh, it also has a super cool drawer which just slides out. You can store anything in here. I have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse and some random index cards because they're useful. <laughs> they're always useful. You should always have index cards around. And I have a laptop that's connected to a monitor because sometimes I like to do my work on the go but also sometimes I like a big screen. It's also really important to have great chairs. I got these at Office Depot and they are awesome. They're so like, comfortable. Next off, you gotta have a globe on your desk. It's like so awesome. It even lights up. I got this on Amazon. All the links I'm talking about in my video, I'll put in the description below and on my website, www.nixonorum.com. So in my homeschool area, I have two bookshelves which keeps me busy, or I have a lot of cool stuff. I have, um, this is super cool, Stomp Rockets book. This shows you how to build so many cool Stomp Rockets and catapults and stuff. Um, this is really handy for physics, The Elements by Theodore Gray. It's like so many cool pictures and information, all these elements that you never knew about. And I also have women's science, deep space, solar system, a brief history of time, which is a super cool one, rad woman worldwide, Ray Bradbury, the illustrated man, I love classics, math doesn't suck, growing money, pride and prejudice, exploring the universe, a history of us, I have more history of us things here, I have like a bunch, I have like all of them, um, horizons and exploring the universe, Amo, Amaz, Amaz, and more. Super cool to impress your friends with a lot of Latin. Fight Like a Girl and Win, Fahrenheit 451, another great classic. Watership Down, the list goes on and on. And don't forget to get a dictionary. A real one, not just an app. This is a great one, American Heritage Dictionary. Also have a thesaurus, a real one, not an app. The Oxford American Writers Thesaurus is a really great one to have. And also, I love the Chicago Manual of Style. For history, I love the um, A History of Us. These are super great. There's like 10 books. These are great. I have all of them. And also, History by Year by Year is a great one just for fun. It's also really important to have an Echo Dot. These are really great for any like homework questions. You can ask for any math question. These are my maps, but I got so sick of unrolling them and rolling them up that I put these on foam core instead. It's really handy. This is for world map. I also have a one just that uh, just shows America. It's super cool. There's like so much stuff to look at. This it's just so entertaining. You could look at it all day. So over here, I have my other bookshelf. I also have these little holders for crayons and pens and stuff, and also glue and scissors. These are really handy to just keep stuff so that it'll all stay organized and not just all end up over your desk. And I also have a binder which I store all my subjects in. This is really cool, it has lots of folders. It's really good to stay organized when you are homeschooling. And always have a ruler, pencils. Ticonderoga are the best pencil ever. And um, tape. What is this called? A stapler. I, I don't know why I forgot that what that's called. Um, 
and um, a three hole puncher. These are really important, most people just don't speak about it. And a pencil sharpener, how can you live without it? So over here, I have my Sphere of Spark. This teaches coding and programming. This is like super cool. And it will also freak your dog out. And, oh, this shows how often I clean my desk. These are from like first grade, but it's crazy. And um, Perfection, this is really old, but it's still fun for like when you're bored, you can play it alone. And I have some books down here. The Catcher and Rye is a great classic. Oh, you have to get this totally impossible science. This is super great. Also, another great book, The World Without Us. And I have Hawaii books over here, Maui, Oahu, Hawaii, Brave Not Perfect is a great book. So you want to live in Hawaii, more Hawaii, Captive Paradise, 10 Steps to Financial Success, awesome read, really necessary. And also I have 730 Easy Science Experiments, which is like really good. And this is, I don't really like it. But it is still good. Student dictionary. They um, don't have many words, but it is great. The seven habits of highly effective teens. I got this when I was with my old um high school. My old um high yeah, I think I was in high school then. Um at C M A S A S. This is a really good book. And student thesaurus, which is also still good. And also don't forget an anatomy man. These are great for biology and science. More Ticonderoga pencils, you can't get enough. I will always lose them. My dog will eat them. And I have more binders and notebooks here. And more books down here. You can tell I just don't get enough of books. The best thing about homeschooling is that I get to do a lot of my homeschooling outside. It's really great. But in reality, I spend most of my time in the car going to classes because what you think about homeschoolers is not true. We're usually in classes like with other kids. In addition to my online classes, I have marine biology, engineering, arts, art class, sewing, and school of rock. So that's my homeschool space. Have a great school year, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. And check out my website at nixthenorm.com.